off the actual copy, Friday, August something. Uh, talking about the attack on Gus Savage, it says that the person who was used against Gus Savage was Ron Brown, head of the Democratic National Committee at that time. Of course, we know him as Boule Brown. In fact, <laughs> Gus Savage said his name really is Ron Beige. Right, right that's my fingers on the word Beige. He said his name is Ron Beige. <laughs> but Gus is a, is a good brother, and uh, it'd be good to get Gus out here to speak, to tell you about the Congress. So uh, Gus was one of the few congressmen who consistently voted against Jewish issues. In the caucus, when there were 22 or 24 members, it would be 1 to 23 every time. And then Augustus Hawkins, right before he started to go, stopped voting against the Jewish vote. He was 80, 84, and felt he ought to at least do it before he died. Uh, and uh, there's a name right down here that's uh, mentioned in the Gus Savage uh, attack here. And actually, I guess that makes it even harder to see. Uh, and the name is, uh, is that right? Can you make it without the light? The name is uh, right here at the bottom. It's called uh, Ron Emanuel. Uh, he's a Jewish guy. And he uh, led the attack uh, for the Democratic Party against Gus Savage, of which they ran a Rhodes Scholar named Mel Reynolds against him. And he chaired Mel Reynolds' committee. This is about uh, this guy hooking with Mel Reynolds to chair his committee for Richard Daly to lead the fight against Gus Savage. But it says, Emmanuel is M-E-M-N-E-M-M-A-N-U-E-L. -E -E you need to remember the name because he's the chief political advisor to President Clinton now. Uh, says that he also led the attack on somebody you might remember, a congressman named Paul Finley. In the book, They Dare Speak Out, you'll see a profile of this young white boy. Uh, oh yeah, thanks, this is the point. <laughs> Crowd pleaser. <laughs> Moment beater. Uh, this is his name here, that he uh, got his spurs attacking Paul Finley, who was being thrown out of office for meeting with the PLO. Mm. And so... What I'm going to show, what I'm saying by showing this is that attacking our servitude squad sometimes could lead to promotion for the opposition. So in other words, sometimes they may be impartial about the attack. I will kill off Yahweh bin Yahweh if I can. I don't even know what he's up to. But if you'll promote me for doing it. Now, the crowd that may ask you to do it may, in fact, have these precise modifications for wanting it done. Uh, his his uh, religious beliefs are too strong for us. Uh, his economic development program is too successful for us. Uh, but the person who may be the person to do it may have no other loyalty to the issue other than the guarantee of something, which means slash strategy. We must have, we have to beat down the amount of gain one can secure for crossing the servitude squad. Right. In other words, we have to diminish the ability of the opposition to reward for attack. Because without reward, there are few psychologically motivated friends of the enemy. Meaning that he gets most of his followers for loyalty based upon might and persuasion of money and force. Not because of belief. Ain't no, I so believe in you, I'm going to go do this for you. Because they all get paid. They never do it for free. And they have to pay their believers. But you got shooting, camera shooting bullets and shit. So, uh, everything all right? So uh, we, uh, we, uh, must, we must, in stopping the attack, beat down the reward system. So if, uh, if uh, Saunders is told, if you support Ridden, we'll reward you, 
you have to be able to diminish the reward system. Now, it's not, again, the analogy is not fair because Wu was not an alternative. Wu spied on me right here in this room as chairman of the Human Relations Commission. Right here, when I first came here. In fact, they were here spying the day we did the fundraiser for the Sisters of South Central when we raised $400 for the sister, right here, we had a little fundraiser here on a Sunday afternoon. And they were here, we had an argument right outside there by the phone over, over uh, them coming to spot the meeting out. Now.